Welcome everybody to episode 45 of this Universe Mode. I am your host as always, Sean. You can't hear him, but Adam is on the headset as well. Richard might show up at some point, I don't know. And Josh left because he doesn't want to commentate. He hates me. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get things started, shall we? Oh yeah, Josh hasn't eaten. That's why he's not on the game right now, because he went to go make himself some food. Because he's sick, correct. Coming up first, we have Cat versus Aviana. Coming out first, we have Cat. Women's champion, Catherine, America Sweetheart. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves. I might be disappearing a lot because my kids are supposed to be in bed and they are not in bed right now. So I'll be right back. Have a little fun. Maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. The champ knows that a big win tonight sends a message to all of the top contenders. And coming up next, we have Aviana. We talk a lot about locker room dynamics. Oh You'll God. never hear a single negative thing backstage about this superstar. Well, that is what happens when you treat your fellow superstars with respect. They respect you right back. There are no awards for congeniality here in WWE. That respect means nothing if you lose. Not to be excited when this superstar is in the ring. A competitor who has no limits. She wouldn't know her limits if they were right in front of her, Michael. Some might think she's reckless at times, but it's impossible to get her to change her ways now. And I wouldn't expect her to fight any different in this matchup either. Yeah, but chomping at the bit is a superstar who's felt underrated and underappreciated as of late. And it's time for her to make everyone remember just how good she really is. <laughs> And that was a miscommunication there. And so far, Cat is undefeated ever since she became champion, for the most part. Ooh, look at that. Sorry if I seem distracted. I am listening to my kids in the background. Oh, God, excuse me. Oh, felt like we were in a loop there for a second. And Avi has taken control of this match. Hot shot, and she's on the ground. And she's being held in check here. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. Yeah, this has really turned into Avi's match all of a sudden. And the DDT. I think Cat might have met her match so far. Oh, 
she will wisely return to the ring now. Haymaker connects. Uh -oh. And the jawbreaker. Kind of slowly trying to turn this match around. Ooh, what a kick. Oh, what a maneuver, and she misses, though. Oh, and going for the pin with the Meteora. One. And Avi kicks out. Here comes that neck breaker. And it connects. Oh, obviously going for something there, but Cat reversed it. And the Bulldog connects. Oh, and I'm just kicking Avi in the head. You can tell a fire has been lit inside of her. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Another Bulldog. She's taking a beating here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. I was going for that bank statement, but got reversed. And the blue thunderbomb stole Avi's finisher. And Avi kicks out. Cat's going up top. I think it's for an elbow drop. And she misses. And a face buster. And continues to attacking the head. And now she's looking to go top rope. She wants to finish this. I'll be back. Sit crashing to the floor. Oh yeah, she is really getting fired up. Take it to the floor. What's she gonna do? Oh man, by the hair. Hair whip. Great counter. Oh, that's gonna sting your back. You can't take much more of this. We're about to see how tough she really is. Oh, quite an effective counter. To the outside. This could get wild. Oh! She was clearly waiting for that. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull neck slam. This is gonna be a long night. I missed a lot, so I don't know what happened, but <coughs> hopefully they don't count each other out. Oh, Cat's getting back in the ring. I think Avi's going to go in right after her. Yes, she is. Now and Cat's going back out. Now so Cat's back in. Be a short trip outside. Oh, she's like so mad. She goes right back out the ring again. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Byron, she has no idea where she is right now. And I assure uh oh, what are we going for here? I'm not sure. I want to see what's going to happen here. Open your eyes, Byron. This I'm going for an RKO. Don't do it. And she connects. But right now, it's Avi and Cat. Uh, I don't really remember, to tell you, to be honest. I just sort of the computers. One, two, 
And Cat found the rope. Sort of let the computer pick. I was making some teams. I'm, I just started the stream and my kids are being my kids, so I gotta go make sure they're in bed and all that stuff. So I, I really don't know. We're gonna figure it out all together. And Cat connects the bank statement. What a rope break. Going for the pin. Another rope break. Jesus. Yeah. So I'm trying. You might see me disappear a lot, but that's just me going to go deal with my kids. She's walking along top rope and connects the drop kick. And the pin. One, two, and Aviana wins. She's pinned the champion in a non title match. Looks like she's going to be our number one contender. That's the next hit to be. She will go against Cat for the title. Jacobs. That is the kind of win that opens eyes here in WWE. A major victory here. These superstars took each other to the absolute. Two teams in the five month old? Jeez. I have, I have a, uh, a six year old, a five year old, and a three year old. Coming up next, we have Cass versus Revy. That was interesting. Coming out first is Cass, and I'll be back. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Psycho Caveman. You look at this competitor, they may not be the most beloved by the WWE Universe, but there are a few superstars on the roster who are as respected in the back as them. Could your bias be showing any more, Saxton? You hate to admit a fact that paints a superstar in a positive light. We get it. You pick favorites. City, Oklahoma, the Princess Parker. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills. This is why I do what I do. Oldest is up for driving, and the youngest just started sitting on her own. Hell yeah. I'm not ready for the whole driving thing. That's what I dread that day. Coming out next, though, is Revy. She has stolen the show on many occasions, and I think she's planning on doing it again here tonight.
And the match begins. Cass starts things off with a fucking slams her head to the knee. Cass is a knee. I can't speak English all of a sudden. And she returns a knee with her own. And hits the bulldog. She always does that. It always ever works out for her. Oh, what a slam. Where are we going? All the way to the other side of the ring. That's how this game works. And an arm drag. So far, Revy is in complete control of this match. And as soon as I said something, I knew there was going to... Whoa! Who is? What's Sonya doing? She apparently has decided to join the party here. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Sky high. Misses the leg drop. Look at this. Leg drop's not finished yet. What's happening here? That match just ended so fast. So fast. <laughs> I've never seen Castle win that quickly in my life. A very strong performance here from tonight's winner. No doubt about it. The better superstar definitely won tonight. Coming up next, we have Michelle versus Yamashita. Basically, yeah, definitely snorted some pre-workout. That was fast. Well, I, you can't hear it, but the reason why, like, the hood and stuff disappeared was because Sonya was coming out, I guess, to assist Cass for something. But, like, the game glitched. Like, Sonya never came down, actually. And then Cass just won out of nowhere. But coming up first is our extreme champion, Michelle. Just take a look at the champ. Always an event when she competes. And coming out next, we have Yamashita. And from Osaka, Japan, Yamashita. Yama I hear them, like they're in the hallway or something, just playing. I don't know, maybe it's just because there's hardly anything in my house. And they just sound louder than they are. But I'm going to give them a little bit of a chance to quiet down before I have to go back over there and yell at them. So I'm going to go to bed. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but I can hear him.
Are you kidding that on? Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. My kids. My kids. Michelle versus Yamashita. There's the bell, and we're looking at a superstar who many have considered to be a next. I have, I do have kids. I do have, uh, my neighbors do have kids, but uh, I usually hardly hear anything from them. They, they usually, they all play in the house. Like they're hardly ever outside. And now she's going for the pin already. One. <laughs> Going to the top rope for an elbow drop, maybe. And she connects. It's a big bitch. <laughs> Izzy made her. Oh, and she turns it around. Stops the kick. See the veins that are coming that are showing up on her stomach, though? I wonder if she pick his head. <laughs> I'm calling HR. <laughs> What a slam. And another pin from Yamashita. One. <laughs> no need to call HR. Speaking of HR, where's Levi? <laughs> Probably still at work. Or he's still, he's still sick or he's doing breakfast, birthday, something. I don't know. As co-commissioner, I have HR. <laughs> She prefers to pick. <laughs> I'll be back. She's able to get out of the way. What a spine buster. Scoop slam sets things up. This is going to get ugly. Raid crash. And now she's getting routed. Yeah, she's in desperate search for answers now. Oh, she responds with a counter. Oh, my goodness. This could do it. Oh, and a kick out. How in the world? This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. She's going up. Top rope here. It's getting close to it. It's getting close to it. I gave them their last warning. So what have I missed? And the pin. One. Two. And Michelle kicks out. What a match. Looking to take flight here. I think it's time for the rising sun. Yep, she's calling for it. And she connects. Going for the pin. One. Two. And Michelle kicks out. Hi, Richard. That is awesome. Now Michelle's attacking the arms. The arms, the head, the face, the lower back. All that good stuff. Oh, he's going for the Frankensteiner. Gets power bombed instead. And knee to the face. And the German suplex. <laughs> One, two. And Michelle kicks out again. Oh, Richard, you missed it. Uh, Avi pinned Cat in a non title match. So that makes Avi the number one contender for the women's title. Yeah, she is absolutely showing no remorse. 
So we might see a title match next week. I don't know yet. Wait, who has the title for that? Cat has the world's title. Has the women's world title. What does Linda have? Linda has the tag team title. I don't think Yamashita's going to tap from this. Nope, gets out of it. <laughs> and the super kick. We go from 38 degrees to a negative one degree. Yeah, I know, and I have to work it. And Yamashita wins. Yeah, I gotta work it too. Yeah, but you're going to be in a building for most part of it, Richard. But the... With That's open true. doors. That's true. Daddy is disabling them. <laughs> I had the door open all day. It was fucking beautiful. I come back from lunch, and Randall's like, I fixed your problem, because you couldn't close the door because the trailer hitch was sticking out, and I left it that way on purpose. And he's like, I fixed your problem. I was like, what fucking problem? I didn't have a fucking problem. Why is there a fucking problem? Oh, I closed your door. Yeah, fuck you. I had to walk all the way around. Yes, Great we bitch. do. We do get a drop tomorrow. <laughs> oh. So Yamashita Shots. has pinned Michelle, so that means we're going to have two title matches next year, next week. Yamashita versus Michelle for the Extreme Championship, and Avi versus Cat for the World Championship. <laughs> I'm still in the process of making the tag teams for the women's, because, you know, the game deleted them all. Because it's, it's, well, it's, got it's deleted an asshole. Too. Yeah, the, the, all the, tag, the entire tag team division got deleted <laughs> from the men's show and the women's Damn. show. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Violet and Ivy Dallas. Linda playing tonight. I don't remember. I don't think Taylor or Linda are in a match tonight. I like I don't remember. I started making some teams, and then it got quiet enough for me to start the stream, and then as soon as I started the stream, the boys started getting loud again, so I've been running back and forth. Brandon yeah. bringing the car back. Yeah, he did. What time did he get there? About 6.30ish. Oh, he should have been out by six. Huh? He should have been out by six. Oh, I didn't, I didn't ask what took him so long, but... Um, he told me today. Yeah, one of our co-workers apparently told Sean that I talked too much. Oh, yeah. I said, oh, well. I was like, are you fucking stupid, dude? Like, you mean one of our co-workers? <laughs> Who fucking Poncho. talks to Sean on a daily basis? Well, yeah, you, but Poncho said it first before you had said it Monday. Did Poncho say something to you, too? Yeah, he was like, your brother talks a lot. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next is Ivy Dallas. So but uh, are you able to get him tomorrow on Friday? Because he's not going to have the car. Yeah. Okay. It works Saturday, I've... too, right? Saturday, I'll pick him up and take him home. Okay. As long as I'm not working, I mean, he's going to have a car by then, but as long as I'm not working that Saturday, I'll be able to give him a ride and all that good stuff. Oh, that was so mad last night. <laughs> and as this match gets started, we're looking at an As soon as I'm done here, I'll help you grind artifacts. That's what you're about to do unless you're playing Call of Duty after this. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now. But it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off. I can play Call of Duty too. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. I think he's already on there. And Violet misses the knee attack. And Ivy with the fist. Oh, just drops her. Oh, pulling her hair again. <coughs> I thought she was doing that. I was like, God damn. You're just going to keep letting her pull your hair like that, Violet? Josh didn't even stay in the party. He went to go make food. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he sounds horrible. Yeah. I was wondering how long y'all were gonna let me fucking go on for. I was, last I was, in, I was enjoying it. I ain't care. <laughs> I'm mad that you denied the green screen, you son of a bitch. 
I have a green we stick. We all know you got one. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you fucking got one. <laughs> it's okay. Apparently, Jesse was amused too. Yeah. Yeah. I was asking, speaking of Jesse, I was asking about about his Beamer, and he was like, yeah, it's not, no, I'm not giving that to somebody. I was like, I understand. It doesn't even run, I thought. It doesn't. He, he honestly still doesn't know what's wrong with it, so. I think it needs a PCM. Hmm? I don't know if he's willing. I didn't ask him that, but. No, I, if, I, I don't work on it, so I can't work on it. Adam, are you not playing the naughty list? Okay. What's the naughty list? It's a special Christmas version of shipment. Oh, wow. Um, also oh, what a knee from Violet! They're supposed to be dropping their first anime pack. Oh, yeah? yeah. There goes Richard's money. <laughs> this has been back and forth all night. Yeah, I know. And a DDT. She connects with the Superman punch and is going for the pin. One, two, and Ivy kicks out. This is whatever that was. Pump handle, pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. And I think Ivy's going for the pin. Yes, she is. One, two, and Violet kicks out. Now Ivy's going up top. And hits the leg drop. And the pin. One. Two. And I, uh, Violet kicks out again. Uh-oh. Ivy's calling for that finisher. And it gets reversed. One, two, and Ivy kicks out. Oh, moonsault and gets it, and the pin. One, oh, easy kick out for Ivy. Another moonsault and another pin. Ivy's just, I'm just trying to end this match. And Ivy kicks out one more time. We might be seeing a few strides again. Yes, we are. And it connects. One, two, and Ivy kicks out again. The <laughs> Violet cannot believe it. And the clothesline. Slamming her to the ground again. What <laughs> she gonna do it again? Oh no, she's not. Slam. <laughs> Poor Violet. Things are not looking good for her now. And here comes that pup handle suplex again. And it connects. And the pin. One. Two. And Violet kicks out. Ivy thought that was it. 
She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. And Violet reverses it again. Knee smasher, Jesus. And I'll be back. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I know these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on and I'm right there with them. She's going for it. This could be. And a big victory here tonight. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win. Hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. Hey, and it's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it. Oh, Violet ended up winning, huh? <coughs> Coming up next, we have Teresa versus Ray. Oh, my Jesus. <sighs> Sorry about that. Coming out first, we have Teresa. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Moscow, Russia, Teresa. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. June 22nd. I can't wait for Final Fantasy 16.
such a talented competitor, I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. They are ready for battle. And coming out next is Ray. Ray's been on a losing streak lately. Uh, once she lost to Teresa, actually, so hopefully she could turn this around. There's the bell, and we're looking at a superstar who many have considered... And Ray starts things off with a dragon whip. Screw whatever it's called. Oh, what a slam from Teresa. And a drop kick from Teresa. What a beautiful drop kick that was. Trying to rip her arm out of the socket. Putting the shoulder in jeopardy there. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. She returns the Be back. There. Fighting back with a counter. A oh, foot just stomping down. She manages to get control. Attack to the midsection. How's that for a counter? Watch her set up in the corner. Oh, that backfired on her. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. She's beginning to flag a little. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. And it's a long way down from there. This won't end well. Just unloading knees to the body. That'll turn your lights out. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Yes. Grip applied. Back. Down. What a choke slam in the pin. And I don't know if Ray kicked out or if Teresa let her out. I think Teresa let her out more than anything. You can see her struggling to find her. This might be it for Ray. Up oh, one choke slam. And there's that second one. <clears throat> and the pin. One, two, and Ray somehow manages to kick out. No, oh, Ray might be tapping though. I agree. This is about self preservation. Try I know she gets out. Trying to make somewhat of a comeback. 
and it connects. First three into the corner. I think we're going for that coast to coast. Oh, it got reversed. Oh, and her choke slam got reversed. And a neck breaker. Lifts her up and just tosses her. Hits her with the knee. I think she was trying to get her back to the corner, but Teresa said no to that. Oh, what a reversal from Ray. And the kick to the head. And hits the splash from the middle rope. Oh, going for an arm bar. I don't think that's going to do anything, though. Swing out of the ring they go. Nope. He might be asleep. We might be getting a double count out here. Usually once they get over here, they get stuck. <laughs> and the ref's almost out of five. We're almost at eight. Tossed around like a rag doll. Is Teresa going to throw her in now? Oh, no, that. she's not. Slam. She's struggling to defend herself. Yeah, she has to start returning fire fast. And the draw because they got stuck there. Going to try suicide by coffee, black rifle coffee, caffeinated as fuck coffee is going in for tomorrow. Hell yeah, Jesus. For next, we have Alice Wyatt versus Angelina. Probably the longest two entrances the women's show has. Coming out first is Alice Wyatt. Strangers of Paradise is getting another expansion? Jesus Christ.
Go. Such a long entrance. <laughs> Coming out next is Angelina, and I'll be right back. Transylvania, Romania, Angelina. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Okay, we all know who she is, so skip. And here's a superstar who's been touted to display all the attributes needed to be at the top. And Angelina starts off first, but gets reversed. What success she's had, I believe there's even more untapped potential in her. And some superstars could allow praise to go to their head, but not her. She keeps focus on the task at hand. But she'll be facing a challenge in the form of a superstar who has a vendetta to settle. You know, this one's going to get intense judging by all the vitriol that's led up to tonight. And the power slam. Measured up and boom. Drop. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh, punch in the side of her head. Oh, man. She scores big with the counter. And the snap suplex. Right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, Enough already. Using the elbow as a weapon. And up the turnbuckles we go. To the sky. And connects with the splash. She got some hang time on that. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. She steers clear of that one. Tagged with a punch. Nope, and Angelina gets out of that with a reverse DDT. And an elbow drop. And I'm just jumping on her. There's a lot of back and forth going on right now. Misses the forearm again. I forgot to change Cass's finishing. Oops. Oh my gosh, the lights are out. They're back on. Oh, there's Alice. What a neck breaker. 
And actually, I really just no sold that neck breaker though. He's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Oh, onto the barricade. And a Frankensteiner. Versus that into the corner. Into the corner. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Impressive reversal there. Oh, Ew. Code breaker. And Angelina's is going up top. Up high. Misses the splash. Alice got her knees up this time. Like I said, a lot of back and forth right now. Jesus. <laughs> and this is the finisher. Gets power bob instead. Oh, oh, going for a clover leaf, trying to get Alice to tap. I forget which game it was in. It may have been twenty. It may have been nineteen. Hell, it may have been eighteen. But they actually, like, if it was a submission move that you could literally crawl to the ropes, they would let you crawl to the ropes. I wish they would still let that happen. Here comes that splash again. And she misses it again. Oh. <laughs> the Kimura is connected. I think she might break Angelina's arm. Oh, but Angelina gets out. Finally hits that forearm or elbow drop, whatever it was. Here comes that Olympic slant. Oh no, I lied. Torture rack into a power bomb. One, two, and Alice kicks out. And the pin. One. Back into the ring they go. I can't wait till we get to the Royal Rumble. I can't wait to see who's going to win those things. And Alice is going up top. <laughs> and hits the leg drop. Connects going for the pin. One. Two. And Angelina somehow kicks out. And then reverse suplex. Oh, I think we're going for another Kimura lock. Yes, we are. She's going to try and get Angelina to tap. This might do it. Oh no, Angelina gets out again. I thought it was going to be it. Into the corner. This can't be good. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. In the tree. And the backstabber. Just breaking down the opponent. 
Elbow. She is on a tear right now. Uh -oh, oh, here comes that Olympic slam. And it connects. And the pin. This might be it. One. Two. And Alice kicks out again. Angelina cannot believe it. And she connects. One. Two. And Angelina wins. Here is your winner, Angelina. I'm still in shock. This was definitely a grueling match for all competitors. You could just sense the intensity in the air throughout this one. Yeah, this win was well earned. Coming up next, we have Sonya versus Cali. All right, let's get things going. Coming out first is Sonia. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Marietta, Georgia. Sonia. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape. Now she came out earlier to assist Cass in her match, which ultimately caused Cass winning. I wonder if Cass is going to return the favor. Or if this is just mind games. A woman meant for the highlight reel. She plans on even more excitement tonight. Very quiet night. <coughs> Don't know what happened to everybody at the party. They were there and then they weren't there. What do you say, Adam? Ah. Coming out next, we have Callie. And from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Queen, Callie. Parker. It's been quiet on my end, too, because I keep listening to my kids. It's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. One of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. It would be a loud night if I, would, if I left my controller. Y'all would hear me screaming my ass off. And coming into this matchup, there has been a fire burrowing inside of this superstar. Well, she certainly and Sonya starts things off. Oh, and a headbutt. <laughs> she's been shown. She'll be looking to take out all that anger throughout the course of this match. But on the other end of the ring is a female with unparalleled focus. A and Callie gets the reversal. In and out of the ring. Going to be very difficult to get the advantage on her. Evades the attack. Into the corner now. Back into the corner, misses the shoulder tackle. <coughs> it's reversal after reversal already in this match. Oh, just slams her down to the ground. Sonya's going up top. And she hits the splash. Literally reversals after reversals. Out of oh, I thought it was out of the ring. Guess not. Definitely not where 
and on top of throat first. Jesus. And hits the double stomp. This is the second one. And the STO. Try to go for that arm now. And now the Bulldog misses. She's pushed into the corner. Kick. Oh, man, what a strike. She can end it here. In the pin. One. And Sonya kicks out at one. Oh, what kind of that was an interesting bro. That's the first time I've seen that kind of reversal. <laughs> I was over something there, but Sonya got out. Oh, going for that torture rack. Modified version of the torture rack. And Callie gets out. But I think the damage has pretty much been done. this power bomb and it connects one two and Callie somehow manages to kick out oh and that running Superman punch sort of just came out of nowhere Jesus One, two, and Sonya kicks out. Callie can't believe it, but I mean, <laughs> it happens a lot in this show. Just throws her into the ropes, Jesus. Now, trying to break her arm. Oh, what a maneuver. What a shoulder tackle. Uh oh, here comes that torture rack again. Oh, but Callie gets out of it. And that running Superman punch.
every single victory in this business means something. And you can tell just by looking at her reaction that she absolutely understands that in this moment. Coming up next, we have Melissa versus Olivia Stevens. <sighs> Excuse me. Schools closed, events canceled, my job. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Coming out first, we have Melissa. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York, the princess, Melissa. This person is such a puzzle to me. You see someone who is well-mannered and very polite, but then they get in the ring and turn into a real brute. When you climb in the ring, you check the niceties at the door. Being well-spoken doesn't count for much when you're trading blows. At least they'll shake your hand before they knock you out cold. She is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in tonight's match. And coming out next, we have Olivia Stevens. And from San Antonio, Texas, Olivia Stevens. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally get it. Oh, when Trace is coming up. Starts on the 23rd. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. <laughs> Old school Becky Lynch entrance is so weird to me now. <coughs> The superstar has been touted to display all the attributes needed to be at the top of the women's division. I agree with that, Michael. Go oh, in a DDT to start things had, off. I believe there's even more untapped potential in her. And some superstars could allow praise to go to their head, but not her. She keeps focus on the task at hand. But she'll be challenged by a woman who's shown a high acumen in the ring. There's nothing you can throw at her that she hasn't already devised an answer for. Springboard misses the target. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Super clothesline. Ooh, she just turned it around. Uh-oh, sunset. Power bomb. Ah, trampling the opposition. Ooh, and a reversal. Catches the kick. Explorer suplex. Such impact. Hooked up. DDT. She adjusts it and reverses it. Schoolboy. Wait, no! Into a power bomb! That offense taking a toll on her. Ooh, what a damaging blow. 
Saw that one coming. Ooh, look at her answering back. Nicely done with the head scissors. Kicks to the lower back. Clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here. You're not really testing my patience tonight. Oh. Looks like Melissa's taking control of this match. Rude. All across the face. And misses the knee strike just barely. Somehow Olivia got out of there. And here comes those head scissors. She's going up top. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. Walking the tightrope. And connects with the drop kick. And another drop kick. <laughs> oh, an arm breaker. Oh, arm bar, my bad, not arm breaker. Eat defeat. One, two, and Melissa kicks out. Her opponent is. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. Oh, misses the knees. Ooh. And out of the ring they go. Please don't count out. That's all we ask. <coughs> we already had one count out today. Or double count out, I should say. Taking this to the floor. She makes back into the back ring in. they go. Oh, reverses whatever was going to happen there. Oh, misses. It, 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 there's no submission happening there, Byron. One, two, and Melissa kicks out again. And the drop kick to the back of the head. <clears throat> and then another one to the fucking side of the head. Just trying to destroy her face. And out of the she ring they go here. again. And the count begins. She heads out, but this and the count restarts. Count Up and Face Buster. We're at three now. Whenever he decides to say three, three, <laughs> three, <laughs> there it is. Jesus Christ. Split leg drop. Five, there it is. And back into the ring, Melissa goes, followed by Olivia Stevens, I hope. Uh -oh. Nope, gets cross-bodied, and the count restarts, and an armbar. And Olivia gets out of the armbar. Now they're back into the ring. There we go. I would have not taunted if I were you. And that knee. And here comes the knee attack that got that Olivia reversed the first time. Will she do it again? Yes, she does. Fisherman suplex. Oh, didn't hold it for the pin, though. 
Eight defeat. And the pin again. One, two, and Melissa somehow manages to kick out again. This is whatever that was going to be. Oh, fuck, knee to the face. Jesus. Oh, here comes that finisher. Into the care for the clutch. This might knock Olivia. Yep, there it is. Olivia taps. Melissa wins. Her lip ring makes her look like she's missing a tooth. I also don't remember how many matches we have. I actually, I think this is the main event. <coughs> I think we're finally at the main event. Bridget versus Baby Payne. Coming out first is Bridget. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The Latina Sensation! We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. <laughs> right? Taylor must have just gotten home or something and he's probably eating. the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time and this woman is the reason why and coming out next is baby pain approaches their matches with dignity and honest respect for their opponents. Oh, too bad this isn't a friendliness competition. It's a fight, and I don't think that attitude is going to do him any favors in there. The fact that Deja's character just wrestles and heals. I mean, it is just a video game, but still. <clears throat> Now time for our main event, Bridget versus Baby Payne. And coming into tonight, we know this superstar is focused on creating a stir in the women's division. Yeah, but chopping at the bit is and a the backbreaker to start things off. And underappreciated <coughs> And it's time for her to make everyone remember just how good she really is. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Middle rope. From the middle rope. Misses the splash. Just a smidge quicker. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Big form. <laughs> what a punch. Into a neck breaker. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Ah, oh, shot to the back. 
And out of the ring we go. And the count maybe begins. Oh, there it goes. There's the count. Now Bridge is going to get out of there. The count's going to restart. What she got in mind? <laughs> going for baby's legs. And then STO. Into the steel steps. <laughs> I don't necessarily think the character was going to the steel steps. The game said you're going to the steel steps. Just turn into Bridget's match. Going back into the ring might just be restarting the count. I don't know, she's, <laughs> she's taunting. But I think she's just going to recount. Yep, here she goes. Maybe? Is Bridget really about to win by count out? Okay. She was a millisecond away from a count out, guys. Oh, brutal forearm. A snap bear. And the big boot with the heel. And back out of the ring they go. Look out. And hits the splash. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh, and she got out of there. Plenty of hits coming her way now. And back into the ring. And she's using this moment. Bridge is just standing out there for some reason. Make up your mind, Bridget. You either get counted out or you're gonna get into the ring. Nope, you're gonna taunt, actually. <coughs> now they're both just taunting away. Oh, what a chop. Knee smash. There he is. Sorry, my work wife called me. She flips it back up. Foot to the point. Yeah. I had my needs satisfied this morning, thank you. Big kicks over and over again. And the kick to the head to finish things off. And the pin. One. Two. And baby kicks out. These fuck is the same age as me. I'm like your old man, fucking Daryl. Who would a kick to the head? Kick to the the back. And the Pele kick connects. Uh, with a name like Daryl, he's got to be at least One, five. two, three. The ref did not see Baby grab the rope. Bridget wins. Are you kidding me? Here is your winner, I don't know. Well, he's either sleeping because he's still sick, or he went to work and he's pulling the late night, or... Suicide by coffee. Black rifle coffee. That shit's pretty fucking good. That's These boys good. are about to get the ass beats. Why is Mandy Rose up there? What the shit? God damn it, dog can fucking run. Nope, I'm going to leave that be. I was going to make Adam and Brandon a tag team again, but there might be a potential rivalry between those two, so I'll just leave that as is. <coughs> oh, if Brandon loses, I want you to shave his afro off. <laughs> okay. And then if Adam loses, take away his mustache. Take away his mustache. <laughs> 
Can I get a different rivalry? I'm tired of going up against Josh, damn it. Are you still going up against Josh? Is that what it said? Oh, yeah. I yeah, it's a growing rivalry still. Yeah, I can, I can delete that. That's fine. Put Josh up against Bathrobe Boy. Okay. Adam, are you in the match? Okay, I guess I'm just going to go to Genshin. We'll do that one too, why not? We'll have those rivalries going on right now. Why is Mandy Rose right there though? That's weird. Where me and Pacho going? Okay, so what's going on with this tag team tournament thing? So after the pay-per-view, we're going to do a tag team tournament. Sort of like what we did with the world title, with the world title stuff. What's the winner getting for this one? The same. It's basically the same thing. They're they're number one contenders for the championship. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Man, if you look too much like Darren. <laughs> and Darren looks nothing like Darren. <laughs> I know. <laughs> for artifacts. Okay, and then maybe after that you can help grind for artifacts. Oh. Oh, it's okay, Adam. I think you're going to be upset. I remember you bought Modern Warfare for Dad. I'm pretty sure it just went on sale. I have a lot of tag team matches. Monday. Chris is in the main event for Monday. <coughs> Yuri versus Joe. Yeah, we'll keep that match. We'll be fine. It's not like he's going for his belt. Yeah. Go back one. There? Uh, no, no. Keep going. That one? Nope. Next, I think it was one more. With the tag team. That one? Yeah. Ooh. Which one is the one with the blonde black hair? Vincent and Elliot. They both have long black hair. Okay, the one without the mask. That one's Vincent. What is wrong with Vincent's eyes? Why are they staring into my soul? It's it's the contacts he's wearing. He looks like a caveman with fucked up eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're from Romania, too. Oh, what happened with that conversation? I missed half of it. What conversation? About me being from Romania. Or not from mm, there, but being from Romania. I don't remember. Oh, I wait for Sean, I can do these dairies. Hey, Levi replied. Yeah, just watching The Flash. Streams aren't important to him anymore. <laughs> oh, you remember all that shit Tucci was talking yesterday? Uh huh. In my stream about how he could buy the game and catch up to me by the time I get past that part. Yeah. 
He texted me this morning. He's like, I hate you. <laughs> what, what exactly did he say? This, I, I was fucking dying. But all right, thanks everybody who came by. As usual, uh, I will see you all on Friday. So I think we'll actually, if 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 nothing stonewalls me from doing it, I will start Resident Evil Village on Friday, and then we will go from there. Christmas, of course, is Christmas. Monday we have Raw, and that following Sunday is the pay per view Survivor Series. So I can't wait. Peace, love, hair that grease. Sunday I... is fucking New Year's, bro. I know. So, I mean, there will be drinking.